Lee said he wants to move forwardly, move forward aggressively off of angles and go hard open up to record the knockout within the opening three rounds. Valencia said, I respect Solis's power. I'm more skillful and I have the edge with experience. <laughs> Round number one. Tonight's Fight Clock is presented by Marina Terra Hotel and Spa in San Carlos, Mexico. Black trunks for Solis, green trunks for Valencia. Valencia, nice uh, shot there. Straight to left off the southpaw style to the body. I like the way he wasn't much on it, but I like the way he saw that opening right away and found the spot uh, right around the solar plexus there. So Lise early on trying to cut off the ring. There's the right cross without the jab behind it or in front of it. Nothing on the hook from Valencia. Solis readjusting. Note the striking guard of Solis, arm slightly crossed. Not quite Archie Moore, but I like that striking guard. I like the hands. Snap jab from Solis. The three punch combination in the pocket, right back out. Yeah, actually what Solis is doing right now, it's the, just the typical Mayweather uh, cross guard there. And he actually threw dub two double, uh, or double right hand off of it, which Floyd likes to do. So Lisa is predicting a second round KO over Valencia. Valencia actually said he feels like he's uh, shooting for an eight round decision. With that in mind, Valencia stressed to us he was in no hurry, he wasn't going to rush. He felt he could figure out Solis as this fight progressed. Solis coming off a draw in September, while Valencia is coming off a unanimous eight-round decision. That was back in, uh, in February. So Solis has been a little bit more active, but Valencia coming off a victory. Good snap jab from Solis. Nothing on the right hand from Valencia, left to the body from Solis. That was effective. That backs off Eddie Valencia. Lockdown pressure again. 50 seconds remaining round number one. Scheduled for eight at 126 pounds. Doubling up on the right hand, then the left to the body. That was slick from Solis, Smitty. He's uh, varying his left jab at times. He's pawing with it to set up stuff. Blinding his man with it at times, using it as a range finder like there, but making full use of the most important punch in boxing, the jab, in his case, the left jab. Right to the body. Big body shots, then the exit. Solis looking very elusive. Good defense there by Solis there, but he got clipped. It's a window. Straight left. Fortunately, the... He didn't fe uh, feel the full impact of that shot. Final seconds, round number one. Alan Solis versus Eddie Valencia. Ah! We're headed to round two. Up next, it is our main event. Scheduled for eight rounds at 135 pounds, 8-0. and oh, Luis Torres versus 9-1, and one, Orlando Zapata. Most of the real good action in round one was Solis. Good defense there, fakes a jab, throws a right to the body. And good defense there by Solis, who clearly on my card won round one. Start of round number two. Solis immediately taking center of the ring. This is the round he predicted he'd get a knockout, uh, Sean. For a self-described technical brawler, Alan Solis has looked a lot more technical than brawler thus far in this fight. Very patient, very measured. Some nice combinations right to the body. You know, jab. you know what I like? Uh, other than pawn with the left, which I don't mind, but he doesn't waste any shots. E everything is purposeful that he throws. He... And he puts a lot of impact on that right hand, which he's trying to set up right now. Look for that right hand to come. 
for Valencia, I think he should throw more straight lefts. Nice body shot there by Solis. Ever so slightly, Alon Solis turning up the temperature here in round number two. Again, you see the walk down pressure. Valencia is back again against the ropes. Eats that short left hand. Valencia suddenly playing a lot of defense on his bike. Two punches, not through. Took Solis momentarily off his striking line, but right back to it. Like Cross arm guard, Ala Floyd Mayweather Jr. is very effective for Solis. I'd like to see more of the right jab of uh, Valencia to set up his offense. It would really help with that uh, straight left hand down the pike if he would throw more right jabs. Good movement, though. He's giving uh, Solis more to think about in this round. There, it's a nice shot and good movement to get out of harm's way. Clever turn by Valencia, but again, you see Solis turning, cutting off the ring once more. Now 80 seconds remaining round number two. Big flurry on the inside from Solis right back out. Only five KOs for Valencia in his 15 wins. Six KOs for Solis in his 10 victories. And you can see that the more powerful puncher is Solis. Solis just off the mark with the jab. That right hand lands. Counter right hand from Eddie Valencia, but still fighting off of his back foot is Valencia. Exploding out of the corner. Three punch combination from Solis. Thirty-five seconds now to go, round number two. And this round really could be one in these last thirty seconds. Been pretty even. There's the right hand from Solis. Valencia firing back with the left hand from the southpaw stance to the body, but three punches to one in favor of Solis in that last exchange. Valencia now stepping forward, putting Alan Solis back against the ropes. On the beach here in San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. Alan Solis versus Eddie Valencia. Next stop, round three. Well, he's not going to get the second round knockout, but he did end up getting the second round on my card, especially in those last 30 seconds when it was pretty much three, four punches to one in favor of Solis. Solis, to me, I showed him a piece. He looks like uh, a young er Eric Morales, El Terrible to me. Not so much the way he fights, a little bit the way he fights, but more his appearance. He just looks like the skinnier version of my buddy, Eric Morales. Two zip Solis on my card. Fully agree. Get in our fighter meeting yesterday, Alon Solis first said, I'm going to record the knockout in two rounds. Then he said, well, I'm going to go hard to record it within three rounds. Here we are with round number three. Oh, did he say that? I missed that part. Okay. <laughs> he backed off a little bit of his first statement. <laughs> Valencia said, I'm going to keep adapting as the fight progresses. He told us he really prides himself on being a very cerebral, very tactical fighter. Said that he would be in no hurry as he knew he had eight rounds. He really wants to land Solis, does the left hook to the body, but with the, off the southpaw positioning and the way that uh, Valencia has the right hand cocked and the elbow in, it's difficult. It's gonna, he's going to have to set that up by throwing something, you know, maybe like Mickey Ward, head body, tap up to the head with the jab, and then go down to the body if he can do so. Better round, at least thus far, for Eddie Valencia. He's been following, now he's leading early stages of round number two. Solis, a big audacious step forward. That made Valencia actually move laterally. Yeah, kind of a foot feint there, nothing off of it, but it's, it gives the guy something to think about. Again, I don't know how many south falls he's faced. Big right hand. That looked low. Solis not bothered, neither is referee Hamid Fong Key. I thought it was okay. Swing and a miss there by Valencia, but Valencia's so far getting some stuff done this round like that. Definitely a better round for Eddie Valencia. Solis 
Again, that cross arm guard. Stepping in with the right to the body. There's the level change. Good left hand, counter left to the body from Valencia. 70 seconds remaining round three. Yeah, that uh, got Solis's attention, didn't it? Clever turn from Solis, pulling this fight back to the center of the ring. Valencia doing a better job this round of slipping some of the jabs and sliding to the side of him underneath and moving his head a little bit more and then landed a few shots of his own. Right there is a great illustration of that. Three punch combination from Solis, jab, jab, right hand. Using that straight uh, lead left to confuse Solis a little bit, expecting a jab and bam, he fires off. And there, that, that's what it sets up, a, a right and a straight left. Should throw that straight left more often, even it to the body like there. Doesn't always have to be to the head, throw it to the body as well. Solis just looked at Valencia and nodded, pointed to his chin. And you know what that means usually. That's, you're not happy with what's going on. Short left hand, final seconds, round number three. Solis firing back. Certainly the closest of the three rounds thus far of our co-main event. Right hand just before the bell as we move to round four. That was an interesting round. I, I just felt that uh, Valencia did more of what he wanted to do in that round and and therefore, I gave him that round. Per usual, you and I are in complete sync. I see it exactly the same way. Looking at some of the action. Little faint jab there by Solis, trying to land a combination. On the inside, Valencia landing some shots. That lead left to the body. Didn't do any damage, but it uh, found a home. Much to round four we go. Again, Solis immediately taking center of the ring. Big right hand after taking the body combination from Solis, Valencia lands. I think what Valencia has done is he's found himself a rhythm and he's also kind of a little bit figured out some of the rhythm of Solis. It's okay to paw that jab out there again and early in a fight uh, and if you're in complete control, but after a while a guy can time it, he starts to figure it out. Good movement by Valencia. He's not landing any big shots, Sean, but he's, he's landing some clean shots, sneaky shots that Solis d doesn't see coming. Step in right hand from Solis to the body. Clever turn, then the left to the body from Valencia. But he didn't make him pay. He had an opportunity there against the ropes to, and he told us he's a counter puncher, but there was the perfect opportunity. Left hook, not much power on that from Valencia. Solis back to the inside. Valencia said, I have power, I just don't have knockout power. And his record indicates that. And you can hear, you know, the amazing thing about no fans is you can hear the impact of the shots. I, you know, I was watching uh, Lomachenko and Lopez, and you could really hear in that fight that Lopez, we, as we knew, was the bigger puncher. And in this one, you can hear that Solis is the, the more powerful of the two. Well, Solis... Boldly predicting, first he would take out Valencia in two rounds, then perhaps three, but here we are deep into round number four. One ten remaining in this fourth round. This is a good fight, man. They're fighting this in a phone booth now. Very good fight, left to the body. Phone booth on the beach. Valencia has most definitely found his way into this fight after a good opening two rounds from Alain Solis. Valencia stepping in, good clever turn. Valencia talked about that experience. He felt that would be a huge asset for him in this fight. We're seeing those pro moves. Again, this is his 26 pro boxing bout, the 12th for Solis. Yeah, and have 160 rounds against 47 for Solis, far more experienced. And remember what I told you about, don't forget what I said about those six draws. A dude has six draws. He knows how to hang in there with pretty much anybody, and you see it, but will he do enough to win? It's just like this round here. This round's 
Pretty close. I have actually uh, Valencia to this point right now winning this round, but will he carry it all the way to the final bell? Right now he is. Valencia moving, Solis backwards, Solis back into the pocket. Got stuffed on that right hand. Good left hook from Eddie Valencia. Right to the body, left to the head just before the bell, and we are through four rounds. Quieres meter potencia, mete velocidad, pero tienes que mantener tres, tres golpes. ¿Entiendes? No lo dejes pensar. No lo dejes pensar. Tienes que sentar la zurda, man. Suéltala, ¿ok? Ángulo, ángulo. Ya lo encontraste. Si viste el ángulo que te dije, lo encontraste. Estás dejando trabajar. Si no te vas a quedar ahí, no dejes que él te tire. Si no vas a tirar, no te quedes ahí. Dale la vueltita. Action en round number four. Accurate shots by Valencia. Bam to the body. Combination back, but even better shots, more accurate shots from Valencia. And good defense by Valencia. Close round, good round for Valencia. I have this fight dead even, Sean. Looked like bare knuckle, they were up to the scratch line. That was unusual. Referee Hamid Fonki calling both fighters to the center of the ring to start literally face to face for round number five. And what was that all about? My Spanish is poor. I did not catch the translation. This has been a very clean fight. I thought I saw one low blow, but no one seemed to be bothered except me. Fighters have been clean with their heads. There's been no holding to speak of. You see Solis out there posturing with that left, doing the Larry Holmes thing, but not turning over the right hand behind it. He landed one there, but he did a really nice job. One, two, three, little pause, but then you gotta, bam, you gotta turn the doggone right hand over, and he didn't do it. Valencia had a most definitely measured pace, exactly what he wanted at this stage of the fight. And he told us, I'm, I'm looking at my notes again, he said he wants to be on the inside. Wants it close. Feels he's the more slippery of the two and the, the better defensively of the two and has the more experience of the two. Look at the mouth of Solis. See what I'm talking about? It's, it's open. Wide open here in round five. That right to the body was legal. I liked it, yeah. Right, good solar plexus shot there. Left hook, not much on that. Valencia walking through it, lands the left hand, then the right. Slick turn by Solis. Left on the arm, good left hook from Alan Solis. 80 seconds remaining round number five. Very entertaining, extremely competitive fight in our co-main event. Solis is starting to abandon the jab a little bit when it's right there, when, he's, when it's right there, right now, bam, that jab, not, not forget pawn with it, should throw it. Short right hand, left doesn't get through, right hand just misses the mark. Smitty, oftentimes when fighters predict an early finish, and that's all combat sports, boxing most definitely included, they believe it. Other times they're posturing, they're trying to convince themselves. I felt that Solis believed that. With that in mind, you wonder if frustration starts to set in. Could be. And again, like I said, I'm usually pretty doggone good at reading fighters, and I, I, I felt a real confidence in Valencia, not a, a phony confidence, not a bravado, just based on he's a cerebral guy, and he knew all about Solis's record and his opposition, and he felt that he had the, the better opposition and would do better as this fight went along. That's exactly how it's playing out. Nothing decided here with 10 seconds now remaining round number five. Extremely even good left hand from Valencia. Solis just avoids that left hand, pulling the fight back to the center of the ring. A one-two just before the bell. Next stop, round six. Smitty, when I was commentating for M1 MMA, we had two shows on a barge, River Neva in St. Petersburg, Russia. That was spectacular. This is in first place, top of the table, my friend. All of the fights that I've called across a lot of combat sports, I have never been in a more stunning, more picturesque setting. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful here. And uh, the action's been pretty good inside the ring as well. You see Valencia with that straight left. There's a good uh, slip and duck by Valencia. 
There was that body shot. Best punch of, of that particular round. A round that really was ebb and flow back and forth and on my card even, thus even fight as we head to Get a second. round number six. Get a second. Outside on the beach, the event Get center Get Get from Arena Terra Hotel and Spa in San Carlos, Mexico. Oh. Round six underway. Hands high, different hand position. Abandoning the cross arm guard is Alon Solis. Quick jab. When you do that, usually that means you gotta, you're gotta you going to employ more offense. You're going to let your hands go more. That's what it meant for Floyd Mayweather when he would put those hands up. He's going to let them go. Let's see a landing right hand to the inside. Remember, for these kids out there and youngsters watching who want to emulate the great Floyd Mayweather, understand that there's only one Floyd Mayweather, and, uh, you know, his thought process was defense first and offense second. He could get away with it because he's so brilliant with the defense, much like our namesake Roy Jones Jr. You're not, you're not going to fight like Roy Jones Jr. There's only one Roy Jones Jr. Extremely well said. It's a natural tendency to try to emulate a successful person in your field, but oftentimes they can do things that others just can't. You know, the worst one to emulate was the guy I tried to emulate as a bantamweight, and that was Muhammad Ali with the hands down to forget about it against those little Cuban guys who just tattooed my body for three years. Step in left to the head from Eddie Valencia. But I'm unbeaten at ringside with a microphone. Okay. <laughs> That's what matters. Yeah. Snap jab from Solis. Yeah, he's back to that Mayweather-esque posture there. And Three punch combination landing from Valencia in that last sequence. Solis ducking his head for the level change and the left to the body from Valencia read that very well. No matter what happens, this is where uh, Eddie wanted to be. He told it right on the inside, right where he's at now, doing the stuff he's doing right now. Solis isn't doing a bad job, but I just feel like on the inside that Valencia is a little bit better. I think for Solis, the best place to be is on the outside using that height and reach advantage and that jab and that powerful right hand. There's a nice right hook to the body by Solis. 45 seconds remaining round number six. These are close rounds, you know. I mean, right now, it's this, this is up for grabs here with uh, 35 seconds left. These are the types of rounds that Dwayne Ford would show at a pro boxing judges seminar. Extremely close. The types of rounds that usually split the room with high level professional boxing judges. And ones that depending on where you're watching it from, can, you could score differently from what side of the ring you're on. You have your back to the fighter, you don't see you know, whether he's getting hit with these shots. Final seconds, round number six. Can our judges assigned by the Sonora State Athletic Commission for this and all bouts this evening? We move to round seven. Big smile on the face of Eddie Valencia as he heads back to his corner. I gave him that round. Smitty, how do you have it through six rounds on official scorecard? 58-57 uh, Valencia. I, I, but, but again, this one flipped the coin, right? Extremely close. How would you have it? Oh, you're, not, you're not scoring it, but how would you have it? I'm not scoring it as you are. You're writing down round by round. I think Solis perhaps is up by one round, but again, very close. See some of the action. Solis got off to a good start. Landed some shots there. I thought he won the first part of that round with some shots like that. Nothing on them, but they're landing. And if you go by these replays, they're making my score look bad that round. Because <laughs> it was all so easy. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for doing that. <laughs> round number seven. It was just a glimpse into the sixth round. We're right uppercut from Valencia. Squirting into the pocket but missing is Valencia. Slick from Solis. Again pulling this fight into space center of the ring. Both of these guys are doing some good stuff. They're just not finishing like they are. Solis had done a great job of avoiding a shot, but again didn't make uh, Valencia pay. 
Go back to what the fighters told us, Smitty, yesterday in their respective fighter meetings. Valencia said, I'm going to win by decision. Yes. And Solis talked about getting Valencia out early. You just wonder, is there frustration from Solis? He's not looking frustrated. He's not fighting like a frustrated fighter. But I really thought that he felt that this would be a relatively easy bout. It's playing out clearly exactly the way Valencia thought it would play out. And, and also, you know, you know what's funny? And, and that, that I have this fight ebb and flow and pretty much even. And, and what did I say about Valencia leading up to this? What does he have? Six draws. You know, six draws. It's because, like, he gets in there... And again, he doesn't do, he doesn't have the big power to finish anything, but he figures you out and he just makes it interesting. It's kind of an annoying fighter. There was a good <laughs> left hand from Eddie Valencia on the inside. Which was a visible facial reaction from Alain Solis. See that, back to the jab. This posturing right now is what, what Solis needs to do. He needs to stand on the outside. Forget about flight, fight like Mayweather, fight like Larry Holmes. Use the left jab to set up the right hand. And, not, and, and try to keep it at distance, because clearly, to me, Valencia is the better on the inside. There was a big right hand, but the counter right hand right back from Eddie Valencia. Flurry to the inside. You see the sudden head movement from Solis turning up the pressure here. One minute remaining, round number seven. Valencia with the left hook, partially blocked. Solis doing now what he did very effectively in rounds one and two, and that's cutting off the ring. So he said, I think Valencia is going to try to throw a lot off of his back foot. What Valencia has done, though, Smitty, is explode from the outside into, into the pocket and then right back out. Double jab from Solis. I think Solis is the more winded of these two. He's hanging in there and fighting through his fatigue, but he's, he's winded. Not a lot of starch I haven't seen on his punches in this round. He's landing some, but there just doesn't seem to be much on him like we saw earlier. Step in right hand from Solis after he took the left hook from Valencia. There's the rear right uppercut from that stance wide open from Valencia. Valencia, his chest open, his shoulders open, trying to throw a bit harder. Final seconds, round number seven. Now it's Eddie Valencia coming forward. The feint from Solis as we move to the eighth and final round. This is a really good fight. A reminder up next, it is our main event of the evening. Roy Jones Jr. Boxing live on UFC Fight Pass. Set for eight rounds, 135 pounders, 8 0, 18 year old Luis Torres versus 9 and 1, 23 year old Orlando Zapata. Look at some of the action in that last round. See Valencia. Again, nothing, he, he hasn't landed anything really hard, anything telling, but he's kind of annoying. There he is, missing with a shot, landing a shot. That round was really close. I gave that round to Solis. So on my card, I have it up for grabs. I have it 67-67, uh, Sean. Sporting touch of hands, eighth and final round. Uh, Smitty, it's difficult to envision any of the three State of Sonora Athletic Commission assigned judges having either fighter up by more than two rounds. Well, I don't have that. You have more faith in, in the judges than I do, working closer with commissions than I do. Oh, I don't know if I would use the word faith. <laughs> Confidence? I don't know. <laughs> Awareness, perhaps. <laughs> That's a good word, yeah. That was a nice shot there, but he should have followed it up with something right away. Assume nothing when it comes to combat sports judging, and neither fighter can assume anything here. Yeah, this is one of those where we're going to use one of those old phrases, which fighter wants it the most? Slight swelling under the right eye of Solis. Snap jab from Solis. Valencia continuing to move laterally, stepping in again with the left hand. Sometimes, Sean, both fighters want it equally. So they're, they're, what could we be possibly looking at draw number six? It would be number seven, 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 seven. For Valencia. That's <laughs> all I spoke about in the beginning was his draws, and we'll see. Short step in right from Solis. 
Solis has been very effective at is leading. What Valencia has been very effective at is exploding into the pocket just like that and then getting back out as he lands the right hand. Another right hand in the overhand right and then pulls himself back to range. Again, literally all seven rounds coming into this eighth and final round have been very tight and you see how tight this eighth round is. Short shuffle right hand from Valencia. Uppercut, good right hand from Eddie Valencia. Solis is squaring up there. If uh, Valencia has any big straight left, right now would be the time to throw it because uh, Solis just at times is coming. I think he's a little tired, a little winded. Solis right to the body, had a smirk on his face, lands that left hook to Zalan Solis. The left hook didn't fully land, left to the body from Valencia. 40 seconds remaining in this fight. Short right hand from Valencia, turning that over. Solis again putting Valencia's back against the ropes. Valencia trying to turn out. Solis actually giving him space, pulling himself back to distance. Jab doesn't get through. Both fighters looking for one more significant flurry in this fight. Now 15 seconds remaining. Snap jab from Solis. Right hand from Valencia. Solis just nodded at Valencia. Trying to get him to step in. Points to his chin. The bell. The end of a really entertaining fight. Both fighters with the body language that they have won. Well, I don't know if I set myself up for it or not, or if I had it in my head uh, since I spent about 10 minutes talking about Valencia and what he does and all these draws. Guess what I have to fight? Even. 77, 77, even. And so, therefore, to me, this one really, I uh, mean, is a flip of the coin. Wouldn't, I mean, I can make a case for Valencia right away, but I just think at times it appeared as though Solis was the more aggressive, and that seems to be the thing that judges worldwide go by, the, you know, the guy coming forward. So let's see if they nod towards that. Valencia, unmarked pretty much, did what he said he would do. Like that, wanting to be on the inside there. He catches and shoots. Three or four shots. Solis, giving back, landing some shots. I mean, it's really difficult to choose from this action. That was really tight, back and forth. Both guys landed some decent shots and showed some good defense. Valencia probably did more of what he wanted to do. I have it a draw. Let's see what the judges have it. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event has gone the full eight rounds, and here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Judge Cota scores the fight 78-74. Judge Aruna scores the fight 79-73. And Judge Drew scores the fight 82-73. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Alan Cachorro Solis. Wow. So, Smitty, what was I saying about difficult to envision the judges having it more than a fighter by two rounds going into the eighth and final round? Yeah. Clearly not the case. Again, the three State of Sonora Athletic Commission assigned judges reviewing what Jeff Houston just read in the ring. 78 74 79 73 and 80 73 I, I might have to have a little talk with these judges because in, um, they're a little bit off on that one in favor of alon Solis, but eddie valencia acquitting himself extremely well he started 